Welcome to the Academy Answers Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening in. And we always get started this way. We play our creed, something we live by. And that is, we don't worry, we work. We don't doubt, we believe. We don't make excuses, we hustle. We don't talk about it, we are about it. We don't follow, we lead. We don't do it to have, we do it to become. We're not victims, we take responsibility. We're not suckers, we earn our spot. We're not a statistics, we stand for something. We are not the clay, we are the potters. We design our own lives. Let's jump into the podcast, guys. Hope it can bring you some value today. Let's go in. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Academy Answers Podcast, where we answer the questions about personal development, personal finance, happiness, life, full potential, freedom um, that we get from our blog or social media accounts. And we're in the space trying to help people, not from a point of uh, supreme knowledge or gifted awareness, but from a point of learning experience and the dedication that I have to personal growth and development and to exploring the most beautiful place on, on, on the planet and in the human body, which is the mind, studying, researching, um, having experiences, um, relating to other people um, has helped me to get this insight that I just now realize that I've always had this zest and this passion to be my best self and to help others to do that. So the question today is from, and I thank you for joining me always. You can message me at Lewin Motivator Car, um, Instagram Lewin Motivator Car. Um, send me an email on Lewin Motivator Car at gmail.com. Um, I'm on Facebook, Lewin Motivator Car. And I have a Facebook group with about a thousand people that, and we just do personal development. There's a Facebook page to also the Academy of Success and Happiness and Full Potential. You'll find me there, Low and Car. I'd be happy if you reach out and say, hey, how are you doing? If there's anything I can help you with. So this person um, messaged me, I think it's on Messenger, Facebook Messenger to ask, what if I don't reach my goals? I have these goals. And I don't know, I know, I feel, I want them, I have the desire, but I'm also scared that I may not reach them. So I have a plan B and sometimes that plan B is probably my comfort zone because I'm thinking that it doesn't help me to put enough focus on my real plan and on what I really want. And the way I'd answer this is that you pretty much get from life what you expect. And I think it was Charles Darwin who said that you will become as large as your dominant aspirations or as small as your controlling desires. So you will become as large as your dominant aspirations or as small as your controlling desires. And, um, you attract things to you according to the amount of thoughts and the amount of time you dedicate towards a certain direction. Doubts are real. It's unfair is real. It is, you know, a lot of times there's a lot of, um, you know, hullabaloo about fear or it is this and it is that. But fear, we know that we have naturally um, in most cases. But I think it was Martin said that as you move towards your fear, they boldly melt away. It's in a Helen Keller or Martin who said that. Don't hold me to it. And that's true. As you do something, you get more comfortable. Now, if you could break down your life and break down your goals and model someone that has done it before, then you could understand a clear part. You may not see it, but you can understand a clear part. Success leave clues. What you want to do, someone else has done it before. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can model that. And as you get 
further on your journey, as you start to see some results, as you start to hold yourself, as you start to balance yourself in terms of income and achievement and the other milestones that you set, you can add a, a, a wider variance of creativity to it to explore different options. But as, as it is right now, if you watch the, um, Hollywood carefully, if there's an action movie, it's the same plot. There's this bad guy who wants to eat a rubber bang, take over somewhere, hold hostage, take revenge. And then there's this badass FBI agent or ex-military who is going to take him down. And that plot works for the last two decades and they don't change it. There is the high school teenage drama plot in Hollywood. It is a workable and repeatable thing that they do to ensure that the box office give them back the return. Now, these guys have millions in resources and they're not going f- too far from the norm. So if you want to show fire your results in terms of business and 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 and, and income or your job, you want to stay in that realm to follow model someone who is doing something that you want to do at the highest level and as i say you will get from life what you expect because expectations is a function of effort so if you expect something then the effort that you put in the creativity that you're able to summon the potential that you're able to awake within will be of a higher level than if you don't expect it i think it was will Smith who said that there's no reason for plan b because plan b distracts from plan a you cannot go in business thinking that you know you know what if i if i buy that 22 dollar product or what if i buy this 150 dollar thing and 800 dollar thing and it doesn't work and then i use it on my credit card i owe a credit card bill you know there is risk in everything. You could lose that $800 doing nothing or something else might come and take it and you still have not made the step that you hold in your heart to take. So you must take risk. I think it was Mark Zuckerberg who said that he's not sure what is the best strategy for the next um, 10 years, but he's sure that the only strategy that is bound to fail and it is a strategy that involves taking no risk at all. And that's powerful. You have to put yourself out there. You have to come out of obscurity. You cannot be successful in obscurity. You have to get attention. You have to find a model and use that in your life. And you have to expect more so you can work towards more so you will attract more. That's how it works. A law of attraction. You become what you think about. You attract what you are. You're not going to get in life what you want. You get what you deserve. You put in the work, it will come to you. And I think I spoke about goal setting in my last podcast about how you set goals to ensure that you have rewards and expectations and outcomes or results that are more in your control who you want to become what you can control if i wake up at three o'clock every morning and i get two hours of exercising and i keep my diet and i'm doing following the right exercise routine i am going to look like x okay let's say you don't look like x or you don't get to x that routine over six month time would have made you into a better person in terms of lifestyle and you can always continue on and maybe two weeks after you get the goal that you had planned or a month or two months or three months or a year but you would have been well on your way you had formed some habits you'd have become healthier you'd have um and put yourself in a position to live longer so it is the goal that sort of make you into a better person the 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 act of doing the daily activities is making you better and those are better goals to align yourself with than the 10k a month or than the three 30 pounds in three months or than the you know this grand change my career in a year type of thing it is the movement in the direction as i think it was um bernard shadow who said that it is it is success is the is a realization of a worthy idea 
the realization, working towards something that is positive, that is worthy for you. And in closing, I'll leave this powerful piece that Jesse B. Rittenhouse um, has written, this timeless piece. Uh, and and it just it's called Wages, and it, it, it is pretty much putting everything in a nutshell about what life really is and what life will bring to you and how things are attracted to you. It said, I bargained with life for a penny and life would pay no more. However, I begged that evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is just an employer. It gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why you must hear and sit and bear the task. I work for menial hire only to learn this me that any wage I had asked of life, life would have willingly paid. If you bargain with life for a penny, life will pay no more. You have to go and activate what you want in a way not to think that you'll get up this morning and it comes to fruition. It's not Hollywood that paint that picture. In the background, you have to be doing the work, the sacrifice, and the learning and the growing. And then it comes to something. That's how it works. Believe in yourself. And don't worry about whether or not you hit these goals. Think of the reason why you can do it and not the reason why you can't do it. I think it was um, the Nobel Peace Prize winner who said that if you want to be rich, you will be rich. If you want to be learned, you will be learned. If you want to be successful, you will be successful. It is only that you cannot wish these things and wish a million other things that are in contradiction of these things. Have a good day. Always a pleasure coming to you. Thank you guys for listening. Look, have a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm doing more of these podcasts. I'm trying to do one every day. I'm going to go on a 30-day challenge. So pump one out every day. I have a ton of questions. And when I can't find questions, I just pick a topic. And thank you for listening to me. Reach out to me. Anyone on my social media accounts and let me know that you're out there and I've been of some value.